Hi, and welcome to the next edition of VMware's Channel Pulse newsletter. I'm happy to introduce a couple of friends and colleagues this week who are going to cover some detail with us around how we're seeing some great success in the transformation to our SaaS and subs business. Um, we're going to do that with Tom and Cara of Arrow, um, ably interviewed by, by David Merritt, one of our own. Then we're going to jump and take a chat with uh, Rob Thomas, our partner marketing specialist, who's going to talk specifically about the Explore event that we've got coming up in November. We do hope to see as many of you there as possible. And then finally, one of the fastest growing parts of the VMware portfolio right now is the ARIA operations platform. And we've got Pat coming up to come and talk to you specifically about how our partners can take advantage of building out solutions around ARIA. So we look forward to, to seeing some of that. But whilst I've still got everybody in front of me, I want to highlight the ESG report, uh, VMware's 2030 agenda, that we have recently just published again. This report and details our sort of decade-long commitment to an environmental, social, and government um, policy. Inside of this report, there are 30 individual actions that you can see that VMware are taking, and we are publishing transparent results against to show how we are continuing our history of innovation to bring ESG as a competitive advantage that our partners can sell against. And it's providing a competitive advantage because in truth, being able to deliver the digital innovation that our joint customers want, being able to provide an equitable future that our customers want and a more secure environment for everybody is clearly an advantage that we can provide to the market together. So please do take a look at the, the link that we'll provide so that you can take a look at how we are providing real impact with the report that we've produced. So a quick handover now, and we're going to talk to David, to Tom, and to Cara. Thank you, Andy. Hi, I'm David Merritt, and I'm here today with Tom Norman and Cara Miller from Arrow. Hi, both. Thank you for joining us. Cara, as you know, we launched vSphere Plus last year, which is gaining a lot of traction through our channel community. Where else are you seeing success with VMware? Firstly, thank you for having us today. Secondly, where we're seeing success is VMware Aria, so the cloud and automation and management, and to deliver an optimised IT environment. Excellent. We're seeing a lot of success there too, and, and some of that is through sustainability, which Andy covered off in his previous piece around ESG. How are you bringing value to our partners around Aria? So firstly, we are doing the CMA, so cloud management assessments, and we can do it from a twofold sort of support level, I suppose. Firstly, delivering it and training our partners to be able to do these assessments with their customers or leading with the customers directly with the looping of our partners to complete these assessments. Then we will be able to see an insight into their IT environment and make sure that they are using their environment correctly, able to do help with cost savings. That's great. Are you seeing success in this area 100%, with your partners? 100%, yeah. But from both, and like I said, the two areas that we said, we see it from either, just if it either fits the partner. Brilliant. So, Tom, we're obviously moving to a subscription model mm -hmm. as our go-to-market with our with our products. How are our helping partners in that, in that journey as we transition to subscription? So, f for me and the kind of area of the business I work in within Arrow, it's it's all about customer portal. So customer portal is essentially a white labeled front end to Arrowsphere, um, our cloud management platform, which essentially the customer can build their own cloud marketplace um, on Arrowsphere, same so VMware technologies, they can load in their own solutions, their own services there, um, and then package it all together and deliver it direct to the end user. So the end user can, con can go in there, consume, now that can be managed on a granular level in terms of your best customer can get the best pricing. If you've got occasional customers, then you can bespoke that price into them or you can do it in groupings. So effectively, what you're allowing your partners to do is set up a marketplace for their customers. Exactly that. So they get the marketplace to sell their products, to sell their services, sell, sell our products. But it also, um, the management kind of interface on the back end is super clever. So there's kind of predictable analytics on there, Google Analytics. You can cost cap, manage all your subscriptions in one place. Um, so it's really intuitive. It, it gives a lot of control and governance um, to the service provider, whilst also kind of giving a bit of freedom to the end user if you allow them to have that. 
If not, you can put protocols in place. Like Arrow, Arrow wouldn't trust me to go on and be buying licenses for, for Arrow, right? <laughs> um, but they might let me kind of go and look at services and look at consumption, that sort of thing. Um, and then it's finished nicely with kind of predictable or smart marketing in there. So you know your customer profiles. It'll serve up kind of like add-ons that they might find might find useful to the services they've already got in place. And then keeping it secure and easy, it's, it's all single sign-on. Love that. I think what we need is VMware as a, as a wider partner community to see more partners wrap their own IP around VMware solutions to take to market. Yep. The value is in the partner with, in conjunction with VMware. So if you're giving a platform to for partners to take that to customers, that, that's absolutely fantastic. So both before we leave, is there any call to action you'd like to speak to our partners about? Cara? 100%. I'd say loop us in, whether that is to direct or the wider Arrow VMware team. We're here to fully support and lead these conversations to then get customers being confident to do these assessments themselves. And for me, I'd say get in touch with us about Arrowsphere. If you're brand new to Arrowsphere, you've never touched it, we can go, we can start at the basics. If you're already an Arrowsphere partner, then get in touch with us about Customer Portal. We'll be able to go through kind of everything that it does. Thanks both, appreciate your time. With that, I'm going to hand over to our colleague, or my colleague, sorry, Pat, who's going to go through our ARIA cloud management platform. Over to you, Pat. Thanks, Dave. So the first question we need to ask is, why do customers need a cloud management platform? Well, our customers are moving increasingly more to multi-cloud and hybrid cloud, which can bring significant advantages for their business, but it also introduces complexity and risk. Now, each and every day, our customers are performing hundreds of tasks across their environment, and the tools they're using to perform these tasks are often disparate and lack integration. Not only that, but they're often using a different tool to do the same job in different clouds. ARIA seeks to address this by giving customers a consistent operational set of tools that they can use across all clouds. Now, the benefits of a common cloud management platform are the skills that customers already have are transferable between clouds. The operational processes they're already using can be used in different clouds. This helps to reduce complexity, reduce risk, and helps customers to fully realize the value and benefits of moving to multi-cloud. So the ARIA family has a number of industry-leading solutions. ARIA operations, operations for networks, operations for logs, ARIA automation, and ARIA cost. And these help our customers optimize their environments in terms of performance, cost and capacity management, accelerated troubleshooting, automated service delivery, and compliance and security hardening. Now, each of these tools is domain specific. And what I mean by that is they're typically used by different administration groups. Now, each also collects a lot of data. And that data could be useful for the different administration groups. So ARIA has now made that data available and shared that to all administrators. So ARIA, Hub and Graph were announced at VMware Explore last year, and they bring new functionality to the ARIA platform. ARIA Graph is a data store that collects data from the ARIA products and third-party solutions and builds relationships between that data. ARIA Hub is the interface used to view and manage that information, and together, they give our customers a single source of truth across their entire environment that's updated in near real time. And using this federated data, we can now build and deliver new solutions that were not previously possible. For example, ARIA Guardrails provides governance and policy management according to cost, performance, and security. ARIA Business Insights, ARIA Business Insights uses that full stack correlation to reduce downtime and helps accelerate troubleshooting for a faster time to recovery. And ARIA migration helps our customers to plan and execute their workload migrations to cloud and helps them to understand the benefits of moving to a particular cloud according to their business objectives. So where can you find out more about ARIA? I think the best place to start is the public facing web pages. Here you will find data sheets, use cases, solution briefs, and demo videos. Partner Connect has a lot of sales collateral, such as customer decks and frequently asked questions that can help you position and sell ARIA. The Cloud Management Assessment page on Partner Connect can show you how 
RE operations can facilitate higher value conversations with your customers that can lead to increased deal size or uncover new opportunities. For those who want to learn a little bit more, we have our sales and pre-sales accreditations that you can find on Partner University. And for hands-on practitioners and solution architects and delivery consultants, we have full professional certification from our learning and education team. Also, there's a blog post listed here that gives you a sneak preview into all the ARIA webinars that are coming up during August. And finally, we've done an ARIA introduction video, which essentially covers what we've done today in a little bit more detail. And you'll find that on our YouTube Partner TV channel. So check it out. And of course, you can find out more about ARIA in person at VMware Explore later this year. And with that, I'll hand over to Rob. Hello, I'm Rob Thomas, Partner Marketing Specialist. I'm here today to talk to you about VMware Explore Barcelona happening, happening between the 6th and the 9th of November. Our content catalogue is available online and you can check it out by going to the VMware Explore website. We thought we'd pull out, uh, pull out the key partner dates happening across the week. We'd love you to plan your travel accordingly so you can attend a global partner forum happening on Monday the 6th of November. It promises to be a great day with keynote sessions and a partner reception happening. The price list is currently on the screen now. As you can see, the prices increase the closer we get to the event. A group discount is available if you're buying five plus tickets. To do so, please email the below email address or speak to your partner marketing manager. And make sure you follow us on all these channels so you can keep up to date with all your VMware Explorer news. It's shaping up to be a fantastic event and we cannot wait to welcome you to Barcelona. So thanks for that, Rob. Um, a great reminder of all the things that we can uh, get access to, all of the resources for being able to, to book some time in Explore. Of course, I'll be there with quite a lot of the management team. If at any stage you would like to book some time with us in Barcelona to discuss anything with regards to the partner program, then please do reach out and we'll try to accommodate that as best we can. So in order to wrap up, I just want to say thanks again. It's really important that we uh, we continue to see the, the people watching these particular videos and we get a good buzz doing them. And actually there's quite a bit of information that comes out in it as well. The next one we will do will be post November. It'll be after Explore so that we can provide updates right out of the, the main event itself to give you an update on what's happening next, which might include something else to do with Broadcom, but who knows? <laughs>